people that are followers of Jesus, we need words of blessing too. And we need to be blessing each other. I just want to, I want to encourage you, bless faithful people that are seeking to follow uh, the Lord. You know, I'm thinking of Elizabeth. Elizabeth was the cousin of Mary, the mother of Jesus. And Mary was sent away from her home to see Elizabeth, her cousin, and she went over there, away from her home, saw her cousin, and her cousin, instead of pronouncing judgment, saying, Mary, you should have done things in a different order. Mary, what are you thinking? Mary, what's going on here? Instead of encountering the judgment and the bad feelings, the first words out of Elizabeth's mouth to Mary were this, blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. I wonder what impact it would be if you encounter a woman facing an unexpected pregnancy or an unwanted pregnancy. If you just pronounce the blessing of the Lord, blessed are you, you have this child. Blessed is the fruit of your womb. I wonder if that would make an impact on people that are facing a decision of whether or not to take a human life. I wonder if that would make a difference. I think it would because the power of blessing is so huge. God wants to bless you. God wants to bless you in your coming, in your going. I know some of you are thinking, I know people that bless me when they come, and I know people that bless me when they go away. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> what I'm saying is that in everything that you do, blessing should be the overflow of God's blessing to you. You are blessed. You are blessed. If you have Jesus in your heart, you are blessed. If you're in this room and you have not received Jesus in it, you are blessed because you've heard the gospel. And you can receive it. But you are blessed. And then in your coming and your going, you share those blessings with this world around you. Our world is hurting. Our world is dying spiritually. And they need the blessing of the Lord. And you and I are called to share that blessing. That's what Jesus did in his coming and his going. He blessed. The last thing we see Jesus doing, this is Luke chapter 24. It's talking about Jesus being raised back up into heaven. It says that he led them out as far as Bethany, lifting up his hands as he blessed them. While he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into heaven. The last thing Jesus did was bless them. In his going, he was blessing. He wasn't cursing. He wasn't being profane. He wasn't protesting. He was blessing. Let me challenge you. Before the sun goes down. Who is someone that needs a blessing? Would you be the words of the Lord? Speaking the promises of God over someone that needs to hear those promises. Would you be a conduit? Before the sun goes down today, would you be a conduit of the Lord's blessing? Would you show that blessing? Would you be the Lord's instrument of peace? And then let me share this with you. If you've come in here and you don't feel like you deserve to be blessed, I want you to know that's a lie straight from the gates of hell. That you, you deserve to be blessed because not because of how good you are, because of what Jesus did. He wants you to be blessed. He's not trying to keep the blessing from you. If you're in a dry place, it may be that you put yourself in a dry place. Would you be willing to receive the blessing of the Lord? He wants you to be blessed. I wish I could, like I said earlier, put my hand on each one of you individually and say you're blessed. And you can bless other people out of the overflow of what God has given to you. His favor rests upon you. And he wants to bless you and he wants to bless your children. He wants to bless your heart. He wants, you to, he wants to bless that relationship that you can have with him. He wants you to feel his peace just filling you up. Would you be willing to receive that blessing from him today? Because God blesses you. Lord Jesus, I, I thank you right now that, that your favor is upon us. Lord, your favor, your goodwill is upon us. 
And you want us to seek you and, and, and come to you and embrace you, Lord. And Lord, I pray that you would just take anything that prevents us from receiving your blessing. And Lord, let that fall away and let us just run into your open embrace. Lord, I pray for anyone here that has discouragement. Lord, let them see your blessing. Lord, I pray for someone that's dealing with a medical emergency, Lord, or a medical issue. Lord, I pray that they would have a blessing of healing in their life. Lord, I pray for someone that's having a relationship problem. Lord, I pray the blessing of restored relationships. Lord, someone that has anxiety, Lord, I pray for the blessing of peace. And Lord, let your people be blessed. And let them bless your name. And let them bless the world. In your precious name of Jesus, I pray.